Hello everyone, welcome to What's in the Bag with my pal here, Mr. Peter Hurley. What's happening? I am here at Photoshop <laughs> World with you and I, I, this is, this is, I get to see you. This is what's happening. I know, that it's is cool. I love it. Well, and we've got something that's just, this is total geek talk. Uh -huh. I mean, yesterday we were on the podcast, but today we're talking about gear. I love talking about gear. You like gear? I love gear. Okay. I'm a gear junkie. I have issues with gear. You do? I have so you're kind I've of always geek. had issues with gear. Yes, I would say that. You're a geek. Okay. I'd say there's two things I spend money on. Okay. Well, besides my kids and That's my good. wife and family and stuff. Yes. Two hobbies. Well, well photography is not really a hobby. So I, I race sailboats. And I spend money on photography gear, and that's it. So I spend money on sailing and, and photography gear, and that is it. Really? Okay. And on occasion, I'll buy myself some some sort of new article of clothing. But other than that, photography gear beats it. Once every year, you get yeah, some new clothes. Yeah, that's it. I kind of, I mean, obviously, this is all about gear, but I kind of want to go on the opposite side of the spectrum of, you know, everyone thinks, ah, oh, to be someone like Peter Hurley, I have to have that phase one, and I have to have that, that top-of-the-line Canon camera. Do you have to have the best gear no. to get the best photo? No, stop that, people. S stop it, shebang. Stop it. Well, I mean, look, you, it's a want versus need, you know? Do I need a phase one? No. Do I want a phase one? Yes. Do I have my clients that, that pay me enough that I can afford it? Yes. That's the thing. I'm a I, I'm fairly successful photographer. I run a studio in New York. My rate is high enough that, you know, that camera gets paid for in a couple days shooting or something and it's not you know it's not the end of the world for me so um do i think that it's gonna jump my career and everything like that no do i think that it helps yeah i like it a lot it yeah. makes a, it makes a difference i like having the best equipment available i think my clients you know respond to that and get excited about it but would my career have gone a different direction if i had shot you know, a simple camera the entire time. I don't think, I think it, I think it's, it's not about the gear. I love the Canon stuff. I can get great shots out of my mm -hmm. Canon. Um, I'm just used to a medium format. And the reason why I stay, everybody asks, like I never really owned a DSLR till I got the, the 5D Mark III. Right. Um, and I, you know, I started when I was, I started as a model, I was, you know, I don't, can you see don't, it? Can you see it? I don't Take have those it glasses anymore. off and give us like a zoom a squinch? or something. <laughs> <laughs> zoom in on that. <laughs> so um, started as a model. I started as a model. So when I was photographing then, it was all film, and I was working, and I knew nothing about photography, and I didn't pay attention to any of the photography going on on set. But then I became friends with some photographers, and they were shooting, and I was like, this, they kind of have a cool job. Yeah. I was like, this is kind of cool. And then Bruce Weber who started my modeling career and we became friends, he just kept saying, get a camera, get a camera. Yeah. So, and I kept being on these shoots and I'd be like, everybody's got to be, everybody had medium format. All the guys shooting those days shot medium format. Sure. It's very rare that they shot film on a, on a 35 millimeter. I don't think I ever in my modeling, it was very rare to be shot on a 35. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm going medium format if I do this. And I bought a Mia 645. So, uh, so that's, I, that, that's where you started. That's, that's where, where I started. So yeah. I wasn't, when, when digital came out in 2004, I had a good, I, it was like, I, it was 2004, medium format had come out. And I was, it was really expensive. But I was at this, my career was starting to go crazy. And I was like, I was starting to shoot color film a lot. And it was costing me a lot. And I was like, DSLRs weren't where they are today yeah. at all. They weren't there in 2004. The camera I got in 2004, I would shoot it today and be, I, the images were awesome. It was a one, Imacom 132C. I put it on the back of a Contact 645 and I shot that way and it was awesome. And those files are still insane. I still use them. I was looking through them from, for stuff on my website. Yeah. Um, so that's really what got me and then it just kept me and it latched onto me and I was like, and, and I, you know, that's why I stay medium format. Well, not everyone can afford everything that, that Peter has in his bag. So definitely check out lensrentals.com and put some, you know, add some things to your arsenal and check these things out. You can try before you buy. But in the meantime, I would definitely follow Peter on all of the social media that he's involved with. He does a lot of things on Spreecast. Uh, you, you do, you're very heavily involved with Twitter and Facebook. So definitely check out PeterHurley.com and everything that he's involved with. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you. Can I say one more thing? Sure. Guys, whatever you do, have backup. 
backup. You got to have multiple bodies, multiple lenses. I was out doing a job in LA once and I had, I had my body, I had two bodies and two backs. They both went down. And then I had my assistant FedEx me one and that went down and then I had to go rent one. So now I don't leave I, on a big job. I usually have three bodies. Um, and a bunch of, and, and I use different cameras. Like, it's like, Hey, if one goes down the client, I'll be like shooting the phase. And if the phase happens to go down, it never has yet. Where's the wood? Um, <laughs> um, then it's good to have that I've got the cannon. And then yeah. if the cannon goes down, I could go to whatever else I have in my bag, which sometimes I have the X 100. So I might go to that or I might go to, you know, the, ha I actually still have my, some Hasselblad gear. So I, have a, I always take my phase with the Hasselblad with the cannon. So I got three bases covered. So if you're doing a big job, guys, back up, back up, back up. Awesome. Great advice. PeterHurley.com. Boom. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.